Good morning from Copenhagen. Weather check. Ah, looks fantastic. Lots of exploring to do today, so let's hit the shower. <laughs> She's an all-in-one, meaning the shower and the loo is all together, but it's very hot. And hey, it's got a sunroof. <laughs> Can't be bad. Okay, all showered. Still looking beautiful outside. Good. And time for brekkie. The uh, hotel does have a light breakfast, so let's have that first, and if I need, I can top up afterwards. Let's go. Beautiful grounds here at Cabana. Lovely pool. And the restaurant. Slash work area for some. My workstation. High tide in the morning currently. It'll be low tide this afternoon. This is a light breakfast that comes in the room. Beautiful, yeah? Really idyllic almost atmosphere here. My room. Oh, in case you missed it last time, shame on you. Here's, here's a uh, very brief room tour. Great little room. Fantastic staff, fantastic food, fantastic place. There's the twins. <laughs> Mocha and cappuccino. New arrivals, look all smiles. Why not? There's my trusty seed, by the way, renting that for 200 baht a day. It's really comfortable. Like it. Also, my trusty riding glasses keeps the bugs out of your eyes. And when you're driving at night, you can see 60 baht, two bucks, perfect. And away we go. Just a heads up, when you're coming around a corner, especially at speed, especially at night, well at any time really, you come around a corner and you don't see it, you've got this pea gravel and sand on the road, you can hit it and go ass over tea kettle very easily. <laughs> and you don't see it until you're right on top of it, so she's slowing down, so heads up. Just ran over a harmless green snake. There was one at our pool the other day and a guy was freaking right out. I tried to tell him it was harmless, he wouldn't believe me. Great big guy. There's Bex. 300 baht, what? 300 to 500 baht, weekly rate. Wow. He said he's almost full, but he'll have a look. Thai language starters. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Was 400, 400 baht? Okay. And two or three is uh, 700 baht. Okay, here's number 203. This is 700. Peekable view of the ocean. Right through there. Let's have a look. Good size room. You can have either a double or obviously or a queen bed. Hot shower and top. Aircon. It's all right, really. Nice veranda. You watch the sun go down.
beach. It's right here. Very high tide right now, but you get the idea. I think if I remember from last time, they have free kayaks. Beautiful. Again, the tide's very high right now. And I can assure you at 5.30 p.m. tonight, that tide will be down by a couple of meters and you'll probably see about 20 or 30 feet of sand. There you go, Bex. Got everything you possibly want. Great value right on the beach. See you later, Bex. Coming into Tongsala town. Pan tip on the right. Different kind of pan tip, by the way. <laughs> Different than Bangkok. <laughs> the main little beach here at Tongsala. To Bantai. Another excellent area to stay at. A different perspective. Wow. Right now, let's carry on. <laughs> Beautiful, yeah? I'm here to give you a view of Go Samui. Go Samui, is the same? There you go, Samui off in the distance. A 20 minute fast boat ride. And the iconic Welcome to Full Moon Party Hadron sign. I thought they would pull that rock down. I'm glad they didn't. It's pretty iconic. You see that hill above the beach there? We'll put an arrow. That's where we're heading. Okay, let's go down to Rinnai Beach first. Okay, Cocoa Hut unfortunately is closed for renovations, but uh, the beach is definitely open. And there's your iconic tropical beach shot. <laughs> Look at this. Here's some of the Cocoa Hut actual huts. And that would be your front yard. <laughs> Not bad. Actually, there's another couple at the end of this pier, so I won't interrupt them. You get the idea. What a spot. Okay, we've got an appointment to go up that hill to where that cell tower is up there. That was the plan. Should stick to it. I'm thinking from sunset, maybe. How fantastic is that? Beautiful Rinnai Beach. Let's go. Renovation's ongoing here. I'm sure they'll open again. Cabin Resort, okay. So there should be a trail somewhere near here. These guys look lost. They're probably looking at the viewpoint too. It's starting to cloud over. I'd hate to miss this opportunity. I really wasn't expecting a road up here. Well, hang on, maybe that's it. Of course you can drive all the way up here. There's a cell tower. I said that earlier. <laughs> Don't! I think this one is what they call the Kosamui viewpoint. Unfortunately, the sun's behind the clouds, so you can't quite see how magnificent it is, but take my word for it. It's beautiful. Right, let's try to find the actual rock viewpoint. You can be afraid of snakes and, and all sorts, but the one thing you want to avoid stepping on is a centipede. <laughs> you will regret it. Okay, at the cell tower, where the devil's a rock viewpoint? I see no trail, no sign of a trail. Strange. 
think I've solved this mystery. There was a road on the way up that we, apparently you go down there and then you climb up from there. So let's give that a go. <laughs> Adventure continues. Again, the pier that we were just at on the left and Hadrian on the right. One hour later. Almost like I can forget about it. I've been up to the top of that uh, hill. I've been down to the beach. It's all cloudy anyways, so it's not going to look that spectacular. Well, let's go down to the bottom of this hill anyways and see where it leads. A couple of turns later. How cool is this? This looks beautiful. Just the sound of the waves. Perfect. Unfortunately, that sign's probably necessary. <laughs> Well, the beach, by the way. Too bad the sun isn't out right now, but you get the idea. It's absolutely idyllic. This reminds me of Hadjuan Island, just off of Koh Tao. Their beautiful boardwalk. This would be gorgeous at sunset, too, because you can see where the sun is now. This time of year, it's going to go down directly across the horizon there. I'm here at sunset. Bring your favorite girl and your favorite drink. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> well, we've come to the end of the road. I am so jealous. I see a couple of bungalows there. One, two, three, four that I can see. So quite possibly these are for rent. I'll find out and put it on the screen now. Right, let's go back. Okay, on my way, sun or no sun, fantastic spot. Let's go. Wait a second. I see they have a balcony there. I'm thinking go up to that balcony. <laughs> Change of plan, let's go. Yeah. This gets better and better. Cabin, bar, and grill, no less. Further inspection required. <laughs> that looks fantastic. <laughs> a rooftop pool and a rooftop lounge. Even better. Wadi Cop. This place is looking better and better. The cabin. 150 a night, by the looks of it, worth it every penny. <laughs> this is one of these places, if you're on a three week holiday, you'd absolutely have to come to a place like this for at least two nights for a treat. Why not? My kind of cabin. Plane seating, why not? You definitely want to come here for a sunset. We've got quite a few reservations apparently. And see why. But I snagged this. Cloudy, sunny, whatever. Suddenly it doesn't matter. <laughs> Fantastic. I might even hang out here for sunset. I'm 
hearing French, Italian, and Russian languages so far. <laughs> a little mixture. Have to have a look at the menu. Ribs not bad, 550. Pork chop, 420. That's okay. Not bad. Or you can go large, full Monty, surf and turf for four to five persons, 100 bucks. Some will say, that's mad, I'd never pay that much. If I was four or five, why not? And that's what brought me here, that damn rock. <laughs> never did find that, but we did all right, didn't we? Gotta love the setting of this resort. By the way, these beachfront villas have their own private pools. <laughs> nice touch. I'm sure they're going above the rack rate of 4,500 or whatever it is. What a spot. Well, suffice to say, this is one cabin in the woods, or rather the jungle, that everyone would like. <laughs> or most would like, I would think. Just amazing. Just asked to look at a room, but they're full. Not surprisingly. Fantastic. This just continues to get better and better. I don't know if you can see him, but there's a guy up to his chest in water. He's doing a serious attempt at fishing. Maybe biting in the next hour, that's the way to do it. Good luck to him. Look at the words these guys have snagged. Wow. This is your front yard. Not bad. Actually, this is the perfect husband and wife sailing catamaran, isn't it? Because you're bound to have lots of disagreements in such a small confined space when you're sailing so at night you just say look honey let's just talk about it tomorrow right good night good night and you <laughs> go to yours and she goes to hers in the morning you're like ah good morning oh you made me coffee nice <laughs> and another day begins not a bad spot to get a uh, massage either Deal is this. Another look at the head ring queen. Can't really see it. She's been plying this route for many moons. And look what I see over here. Can that be a beach bar? Yes, it is. Red Nye. Absolute gem. Come stay here, get the great sunsets. Nice, peaceful, serene beach. Then just go over the hill, raise hell in Hadrin, catch a sunrise at the same time. <laughs> That's of both. Well, it looks like the sun's really gone behind the clouds this time. But glad the sun came out for a little bit. Well, it did. That's where we started earlier, you'll recall. We were out on that pier. I gotta walk back to the bike, which is way down yonder. I don't mind a bit, to tell you the truth. No complaints walking down this beautiful beach. Green shirt there with the cane. He's been coming here for 25 years. 
He's from Germany and he spends six months a year here. And he says he has a hut just up the beach. And he said it's extremely cheap. He didn't say how much, but I can imagine there's so many really fantastic deals if you look around here. Good on him. Okay, back to my bike. Looks like more and more people coming down. <laughs> Just as I'm leaving, another flight's arriving. Hope anybody watching who wants to get back here is on one of those soon. See you later, had Rinai. Or Rinai. Let's go. I'm fancying either a food court, a night market, to take a run at it just to get up this hill. <laughs> Come on, baby. You can do this. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> that means fight, fight. As you can see, there's plenty of traffic. These are all whiteies like me going over the hill to Hadrin, so. And it's not a full moon party. Guys are overtaking me on a wide corner. It's a good thing I slowed down, or they probably would have ran right into those people. Let some cars pass. Okay. Bantai now has two traffic lights. Interesting. People are actually waiting. Where are they? Let's see. I need that Farang to come up behind me again and toot his horn like, let's go. <laughs> Run the light already. Let's go. Okay, and this is the vintage market. I guess since we're going by, we should stop in. It's a bit of a, you know, an Instagram spot. Not really my thing, but what the heck. How much is a beer, I wonder? Like I said, made for Instagram. <laughs> oh, what the heck. He added a Willys, that's a good thing. English telephone booth and book depository. Every kind of food you can think of, sushi, Korean, pizzeria. I've got pizza on my brain tonight, but I've got a different place in mind. Maybe you'll see I'm coming. Hello? Good prices. Not bad. Pricing. Good pricing. Big Leo, 80 baht? Big Leo, Dutch beer is 80 baht. Fantastic. Is there you go. Small Leo, two bucks. Big Leo, not much more. Money cop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ita. Really good prices here. Five bucks for a steak. Oh, beef steak, one on there. Six bucks. Nice, yeah? Okay, it's all Instagrammable and all that, but good value. Looks like I've got some great offerings for food and good cheap grog as well. Can't fault it. Right. Now, oh, where did I park? There we go. Food factory has got some bums on seats, as they say. Good, good. Amy Tong. Quick look at Tong Sala. Coming into Pantin Market here on the right.
There's a fair few tourists around again, good to see. Ugly dog like what a great name, yeah? <laughs> Hooligans. If you're wondering how much to pay for your uh, Guinness and Hooligans, 140 or 250. Kleinies, 80. Leo's, 80. Apparently delicious food. Hooligans. Here we are back at Hin Kong on the beach. La O Cove. I was here the other night too. If you want to look back and uh, my vids. So going well, I see. I'm a cop. That could work. What is it? 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 What is Jing Jing? Jing! <laughs> okay, Penang guy, Lao Go. Kao Pak Gung. Satap, Sanuk Mak. Kao Gung Kao. Satap, Pesi. That's more what I had in mind. Leo and dinner at the seaside. Penang guy. Penang guy, Pom. I can hardly wait for this. Wow, that looks off the hook. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> and of course, Leo. Perfect. Absolutely recommend you come to Mamakop on Hin Kong Beach. Maybe stop for the sunset. Stay for the Penang guy and Leo. <laughs> Your food is amazing. I love it. Thank you. Kon Canada. Canada. up. A Roy Mark Cop. And right next door to Mama Cop on Hin Kong Beach. Time for that drink. So sunset, right? So sunset. Yeah. And what's in it again? Rum triple sec. Rum triple sec. Lychee. Lychee. Lime. Brucolasso. It's a special cocktail. This place called Free Concept. Okay. Free concept, income, income. Very nice. I like the concept. <laughs> so there's the name, free concept. Massage, kayak, 30 baht for an hour. Excellent. They have bungalows for rent. They're asking uh, 1,200, I think he said. The other night during sunset, it was absolutely packed, but of course, it's well after sunset now. It's almost 10. <laughs> Latisawat Cup, bye bye. <laughs> See you again. Fantastic place. Free concept. Yep, for sure. I, I don't know what's happened here in Sri Tanu. It looks like a lot of the hippies have left and a lot of the young families with kids have come in. It could be the young families with kids are the ex hippies. <laughs> it's kind of how life evolves sometimes. Look at my little hotel. <laughs> it's absolutely bad. I wonder if I can park anywhere. I've got a motorbike and I might not have room to park. Just. Maybe. Yep. Way back here. Home. Okay, thanks for coming along today. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Good night. Absolute gem.